Hey there guys, today's gonna to be the introduction to the shipping container shop project, uh, where I'm hoping to take a shipping container and make it into a nice usable shop space uh, for me to use for some of the dirtier or messier portions of my projects, like welding, grinding, uh, doing things with solvents or things like that, um, and also to have a little bit of extra workspace. Uh, so I'm sure several of you are wondering, uh, well, you're sitting in a shop area. Well, yes, I am. This is my garage. Um, but it gets kind of packed in here, and there's certain things that I just don't like doing in the garage, especially welding and uh, things that are throwing off sparks and saws and, and things like that. Um, I tend to be a night owl at times, so sometimes I get inspiration on projects uh, you know, past 10 or 11 o'clock, and I'm hoping uh, that I can shut myself in a shipping container and maybe work on some of those things without bothering my wife or daughter or the neighbors. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's kind of the, <laughs> in a nutshell, intro. Now I'm going to take you and show you this little model that I built of what I kind of think it's going to look like. So let's look at that now and I'll kind of show you the stages that I think it's going to uh, take part in or take place in, or the order of things. So here is the base model that will essentially represent the first phases of the container project. Uh, this is just a rough little balsa wood model that I made to represent a 20 foot shipping container. It's got a couple of windows and a door on the front and then the typical shipping container doors on one end. However, this will not be the true first step of the project uh, because instead of getting a 20 foot container, I'm actually gonna get a 40 foot long container from my neighbor Al and then cut it in half and then convert the front end of it into a mini shipping container that I will then sell to a coworker of mine to hopefully recoup some of the costs of the project and hopefully give him a shipping container for a little bit cheaper than he could buy from a third party seller. Uh, so anyway, back to the first phase. Um, once I get that container cut in half and uh, fabricate some new doors, uh, these obviously won't be standard shipping container doors, they'll be little custom jobs that I'm gonna make. Um, I will then cut out the windows, the man door, I will probably uh, use just a standard like uh, steel door that you can get from a hardware supplier uh, for that door, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the windows, but that will be kind of the first phase of the project. After that, I am going to be building a roof structure on top of it, kind of like a shed roof, uh, that will act in a couple of different functions. But uh, number one, the roof structure is going to uh, give a little bit of a buffer from the sun um, and just create some uh, little dead air space, as well as um, providing me a way to harvest rainwater off of this roof. Uh, if for those of you who follow the channel, no, I live off of rainwater. Uh, I don't have a well here, so it's kind of important. Uh, so once I get that shed roof on, I will then go about building an awning. Uh, this will be maybe eight to 10 feet, maybe 12 feet out. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but it'll look something like that. Um, this will actually be a little bit higher, but I didn't really get my, uh, <laughs> my ratios just perfect uh, from the start. But anyway, that will be kind of the main structure of it. Um, and then after that, I will then add some roofing material to the main roof and it'll kind of look like that. And then I will add some roofing material to the awning. And I'm hoping to, or I'm planning that this little area out here will be a huge work area. Maybe I could park a car in there, but primarily it's just gonna be an area where I might be welding working, um, you know, just basically getting that nice airflow um, and doing hopefully a lot of projects. Um, and then, uh, I, I think that's about it. Um, and then if anybody knows somebody from Chrysler um, that would like to give me a Jeep that could fit in here, I would really be uh, <laughs> indebted to you. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me, uh, talk about what's to come, and then uh, we will see you on the first video of this project. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Hopefully the build process will be pretty close to what I've outlined in this model. I'm sure some things will change or some things will need to be tweaked, uh, as is the case with a lot of my projects. 
But I think I'm off to a good start because I actually built a model versus just uh, going by uh, the back of my brain uh, like I normally do on projects. Um, but anyway, if it turns out to be like 80% of what I've got on this model, I think I'll be happy. Um, or heck, if it's even 60% of what I've got on the model, I'll be happy as well. Because you know what, 60% is a D and D stands for degree. And that's good in my book. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, hopefully the next uh, or the first video of the cutting of the container will be here in a couple of weeks. And then after that, I'm hoping everything comes very quickly, unlike the greenhouse project where that took uh, several months to kind of complete. Um, and that's pretty much it. So as always guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your comments. And uh, if you like this content, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.